everybody, it's Yvette, and I am filming my October favorites. I just got done filming a haul, so I will link that down below, so if you guys want to check out all the goodies that I got. I've just been really sick, so I haven't been able to film, so I'm filming two videos today, and it is what it is. I do have lots of favorites, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I probably have like 12 or 13, so I don't want this to be super long, so I figured let's just get on into it. Okay, so let's start off with the very first thing I've been obsessed with, and I had to go buy another one, um, and it is the Bath and Body Works candle oh, in the pumpkin pecan waffle. Oh my goodness gracious, seriously, this is probably hands down one of the the best candles ever. It's got the best throw, smells up the whole entire house, not just for when it's burning, but like the other day when I was getting sick, um, I had it burning like that morning and all afternoon and all night the house still smelled like waffles. Oh my gosh, it is just amazing. And it's just, it's been raining today off and on like crazy so you know if i turn orange and then i go back to gray i'm sorry so the next favorite has been the dior skin um star foundation oh gosh i i'm not even kidding you guys this is hands down the best foundation that i own like I have I even told myself, well, I can't really do a first impressions on this anymore, but I'm going to do a review on this. I mean, obviously, you guys are going to know that I love it, but I've been obsessed. I cannot stop wearing it. It was $50, and I completely understand that. It is really pricey, but it is a beautiful foundation. This foundation smells like heaven. I mean... It's, I know it's not good to have like a strong fragrance, especially if you have sensitive skin, but it is just a really light fragrance. So when you put it on, it like already makes you feel beautiful. It's so weird. And the coverage is just, you know, what I've been looking for. Not cakey, but a little bit more than light. So just a really beautiful medium coverage. It's got... SPF 30 in it um, has not broken me out. I'm completely obsessed and I've been setting it with my Laura Mercier uh, loose mineral powder and it is just phenomenal. So definitely worth every single penny. I do highly recommend it and it's been amazing at controlling my oil. It doesn't really break up on my face or nothing. I've just been super impressed. So this is the first time I've, I've I've ever tried a Dior foundation, but I'm hooked. Next thing I have here is the Becca Opal Highlighter. I have it on today. It is a beautiful highlight. I'm so happy that um, Sarah told me that I really needed this because I, I wanted to get this one, but they also had the other one. forgot the name of it. The one, it's just, it's not as like champagne-y colored. Uh, I'll put the name below, but... um. I almost didn't get this and she was like, I think it will look really, really pretty on you. So let me swatch it for you guys so you can see. But it is, it is just a, I don't even know if you guys can see. It is just so pretty. I am obsessed with it. I've been wearing it every single day since I've gotten it. I can't, you know, not highlight my face with this. So I do recommend this one hands down the best highlighter I have right now so love it then I've also been loving benefits Dallas it is just great especially for like right now because there are times where um, I don't want like a super bronzy look but because this has got like a little bit of mauve in it it just it does a really good job at contouring um, without making you look muddy or making you look orange. So I haven't even been reaching for my Hoola, which I usually would be using now. I've been using this, except today I used um, Max Gimme Sun because when I do a red lip, I like to do a little bit more of a orangey toned um, 
bronzer so that I didn't use it today but I've been using it almost every single day so love this right now just like everything else obviously my October favorites are my October loves so I'm gonna love everything um the next thing here is the Marc Jacobs nail polish in bark oh my gosh these polishes hands down the best formula ever even my mother-in-law is obsessed with the formula so I just I mean they're 18 bucks but they are so worth it this is oh, I got so many compliments on this color because it is like the perfect color for fall and um, uh, I've even posted pictures on my Instagram everything I just wish they called it gingerbread but they don't I can't stop wearing it I had to actually make myself wear something different because I've been wearing that one like non-stop as well and I was talking to my mother-in-law and I was like you know I really want to try out a few of the other ones and she was like let's get more and then we'll just share them I'm like genius idea okay next favorite is the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Nude Romance probably the best Maybelline quad ever um, I know it's just nude colors but I'm like kicking myself because I picked this up I want to I think it was during spring or summer I think it was during the spring and I really wish I used it when I got it otherwise I would have rated every Walgreens and CVS possible and I would have stocked up because I can't stop wearing this I'm wearing it today I've been wearing it just about every single day and I'm completely in love with it all I mean usually when I get these quads I'm not a fan of one or two of the colors you know in the quad itself but these I'm obsessed like I use this one on my lid and then I used this one it's almost like soft brown um, for my transition color and then I over I went over my transition color with this shade right here they blend beautifully I mean I'm just so impressed with this eye quad oh my gosh so if you can get your hands on this nude romance you would not be disappointed with that so my Laura Mercier plumberry liner is probably in my top three liners that I have right now you cannot go wrong with this I just I wish I jumped on the plumberry bandwagon a long time ago and this is just awesome let me just swatch it here for you guys it I still don't think I have anything like it I mean I probably have some things that are similar but nothing compares to Plumberry so it is just a awesome liner to have it goes with nudes it goes with pinks it goes with um, mauvey tones it's just such a versatile liner I've also been using the Laura Mercier uh, lipstick in Royal Orchid a lot I mean I have like three or four lipsticks I think I have three lipsticks here that I've just been like alternating because I can't stop wearing them and let me just swatch this one right next to um, the liner it is just really really pretty it looks like this and it's more it's more of a pinky nude but depending on like you know the gloss you use and the pencil you can definitely you know work with it and bring certain tones out but I love pairing it with the plumberry it is just so so pretty it's like a your lips but better nude um but it gives you a little bit of color so you don't look so washed out especially like because I'm kind of pale right now sometimes nude lipsticks can you know really wash me out and this one does not it gives me like the perfect hints of color it's awesome the next lipstick here is the Maybelline touch of this is the matte color sensational color sensational matte yeah so let me swatch this for you guys and this is just beautiful for <sighs> go away since when no you weren't because you just let the dogs out I like look over because I hear like a little like sniffle coming out of him because he's been sick too and he's just standing in the doorway laughing really like I'm not mm. 
Mm, okay <laughs> so uh, he always does that it makes me feel all awkward the um, Maybelline color sensational matte lipstick in touch of spice I've been completely obsessed with this and I love it because it's um, I don't know I I honestly don't this is kind of like a that 90s brown I don't have anything like it but the formula is absolutely amazing especially for a Maybelline lipstick it's perfection like I, I just want to like apply it like all day it's just so soft and creamy that you just want to keep applying it it's really really weird but I'm I'm obsessed with the matte lipsticks like I picked up Divine Wine and I'm loving that one too and um it actually reminds me of Velvet Teddy which is another favorite um, but it's a little bit different. Um, Velvet Teddy is not as, um, mauve -y. It's more brown, but it's really nice for when you wear, um, like mustard colors or tans for fall. I really have been loving Velvet Teddy and the formula is fantastic on that as well. And that's a matte lipstick too. I'm really torn between the two. <sighs> I love them both. But I've been, I mean, like I said, these four lipsticks I've been wearing, you know, like I've just been alternating them because they are awesome. And the last lipstick, which is, a, I've never worn a red lipstick so many times in one month. I, I just, I cannot even handle this NARS Audacious Lipstick in Grace. Not only is a formula to die for but it lasts all day and it's just gorgeous this reminds me of OPI's Cajun shrimp it's not it's not what I have on today I have a Kat Von D studded lipstick um, and helmet on which I've okay I've been obsessed with this now that I've had it for like a couple few days but I just cannot stop with red lips right now this formula for a cream based lipstick is just it's just divine oh my gosh but for matte this Kat Von D is perfection so oh my gosh I've been just lip crazy this month I tell ya and then the Buxom uh, Celeste Gloss has been uh, a go to for me as well just I mean I've been wearing this on top of the Royal Oak Royal Orchid. I can't talk today because I'm, you know, I could barely speak for crying out loud. <laughs> oh God. I've just really been, I mean, you guys really aren't going to see what Celeste looks like because it is just like a really champagne clear lip gloss, but on top of any nude or any pink, oh my gosh. I think it has the lip, plump, lip plumping in here, but you know, the actual formula and the little glitters really even make your lips look fuller so it's it's really um it's awesome i feel like i've been talking forever and i'm okay i'm putting myself on like speedy mode right now so um the next thing here is the style sexy hair this is the spray clay um this is one shine seven hold i'm not quite sure what that means i've been hooked on this and you barely need a little bit it's a texturizing spray clay so what I've been really using this for is right after I curl my hair, instead of going crazy with hairspray, after I spray a little bit um, in my hair, you cannot use too much because if you use too much, it will make your hair feel really dirty. Like you just kind of went like overboard with the dry shampoo. You just got to be a little careful with this. But you know, one or two sprays and I just kind of like, you know, separate my hair, shake it out. and. It like kind of like fluffs your hair out like it makes your hair look bigger separates you know the curls it gives it like volume oh my gosh it is it is amazing I love this stuff I mean I'm, I'm buying the full size like as soon as I'm out but I'm really glad that I got the little sample because I've it's something that I don't think I could ever live without and next time I curl my hair I'll show you guys exactly what it does because it really is a difference maker. The next thing is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. 
Um, I've really been liking it. That's just me. I know I've had some subscribers tell me that they're not a fan of it, but it might just be, you know, different hair types and stuff, but it's just kind of, it's given me a little bit more fullness, and I've really been liking it. So, um, especially on days like today where I just kind of wanted to just, you know, blow dry my hair and then round brush it for a second just to give you know my ends a little bit of a curl so they don't look all you know but like it's just on days where I basically want my hair straight but I don't want to flat iron it it just it I don't know it just does something and it feels nice and my hair smells good and you know that justifies it pretty much but I notice right away when my hair doesn't like something and I haven't noticed that you know, it's like weighed my hair down or nothing like that. So I've really been liking it. Okay, and then last but not least is this Yogi Bedtime Tea. I have been sleeping like crap lately. I don't even know what it is. Everyone's like, you know, are you pregnant? Are you... No, like I'm not. I can't wake up. Like I cannot wake up in the mornings. I set about 20 alarms. I sleep through every single one. I guarantee you if a bomb went off outside, I probably would sleep right through it and not even know anything happened. Like it is that bad. So Eric has to literally drag me out of bed 4.30 right before he leaves to work to make sure that I get up so I'm not late for work. So yes, I'm up at 4.30, I'll do laundry, dishes, you know, clean prep my lunch, stuff like that. I know it sounds crazy, you know, up that early and doing what I need to do, but it's really been helping me. And so that means I have to go to sleep really early. And I just, I lay there, cause it's like nine o'clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm usually up till midnight and this is just not happening. So I got this tea to really help me um, go to sleep. And it's funny because we went out to dinner. We went and had fun with my mom and the lady that owns the restaurant was saying that she couldn't sleep and my mom was like oh you need to try a bedtime tea and I'm like I need to try a bedtime tea because my butt cannot go to sleep so I picked this up I have drank a whole box of this already this is my second box completely obsessed within about 10 minutes of drinking this I am out like a light I could be on the couch I could be editing a video or commenting to people and I'm my head's back I'm passed out. I've been making this right before bed. I drink it, you know, then I go brush my teeth and stuff. And by the time I get back in bed, I'm out. It's awesome. I don't know. It might be the lavender and the chamomile and stuff like that in here. But if you're having a hard time sleeping, I definitely, I mean, not that I have a hard time sleeping because when I go to sleep, I go to sleep. I'm having a hard time going to sleep because I want to be up at midnight, you know, doing my little things. I'm like my mom. I just needed something to help me relax before bed and that's really been doing the trick. So, I know I've had a ton of favorites this month and I'm really, really sorry if this is a long video, but you know, I'm being honest. These are all the things that I've been loving and I hope you give some of these things a try if you've been wanting to try them out. And tell me what your favorites are for the month of October or if there's anything you think that I should try. I would love to. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. And I'm excited. Friday is my birthday. I'm going to be 27. Oh, I feel so old. I remember when I was excited to celebrate my birthdays. And now I'm like, no more birthdays, please no more. So thank you guys so much and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!